I killed the Ender Dragon without hitting it. Now, you may be wondering, how is this possible? Well, my friend, this was made possible using the Origins++ Plus Plus mod, specifically using the Enigma Origin, which has this specific ability where you can stare at an entity to kill it. So I hope you enjoy, and here's the tale of how I killed the Ender Dragon without hitting it. Now to start with, I spawned in the world, and of course I initially had to get some wood, and some food. Wow, this is honestly the most exhilarating Minecraft gameplay. Staring simulator, an autistic person's worst nightmare. And then I went in the mines to get coal to cook my food. I don't know if I've ever played solo Minecraft. Like, I know this isn't really the normal vanilla Minecraft, but this is like the first time I've played on my own, and I've been playing for like 10 years. Easy, this is the easiest, this is the easiest way to play Minecraft. Wait, can I even use swords? But I found out that fighting mobs was a lot harder than killing sheep. Oh, I've got them both in my sight, this is overpowered. I just have to stay away. Personal space, six feet away at all times. <laughs> How are you not dead yet? Can I use a sword? I can't use a sword. Uh, well, I'm out of here. So after getting more food, I'm sorry, Piglet, I'm literally gonna have to kill your parent in front of you. I'm so sorry about this. I'm sorry. And getting a bucket of water? Yes! I was ready to go down to the mines and find lava. I was ready for the nether. I was... Oh. Uh. 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 So there's a, a, a deep dark biome. That's... that's... Uh. Do I activate them if I'm invisible? Is this a trap? Am I still invisible, guys? Yeah. Oh, guys, I think I saw I activate it if I'm invisible. No, I need lava. I gotta keep going down this cave. <laughs> Can I have my vision back, please? Oh, no. So that happened. Um, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I was determined to find this lava, and I was not going back to find another cave. So I headed on down into the ancient city, and well, you know what? I need a, a soundtrack to get me through this. Perfect. I'm sure this will- <laughs> this 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 video has taken a sudden turn and I'm not sure if I like it. Oh. Guys, I shouldn't Okay, song over, song over. This is serious mode. Please don't be any of us nearby. Why am I why am I looting this place? Oh, no, this is fine. I just need to get to the lava. <gasps> no! 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 Coordinates, coordinates, coordinates. My water bucket just burnt! Yup, I lost my bucket. The one thing I needed to get to the nether. So then I legitimately got back to my stuff and legitimately got a new bucket of water. Yo, that's crazy. How did I get that back? Like, what? That's, that's kind of insane. Now the question is... How do you make a nether portal? <laughs> so then, I professionally built a nether portal with no issues whatsoever. I'm realizing I don't have a flint and steel, which may pose some issues. Uh oh. Why did that happen? Anyway. I forgot. Got about that. Uh huh. So anyway, I appreciated the part where I got flint first try. You guys didn't see it, but I got flint first try. I need to get to that ice. Honestly, um, on a scale of one to smart, uh, I think I'm quite genius. I'm gonna take that back. Oh no. Okay. It's hard in dice. You can't even get. Okay. Clearly, I'm not that smart. So I legitimately got another water bucket, and I went back to my portal. Until okay, there's our pool. Let's let's, let's go. Let's go. Uh oh. 
Uh. I just, I need to. Uh oh. You know what? Nope, I'm not dealing with it. Okay, uh. Yep, bye bye. So after nearly pissing myself, I ran away to the nether. You know, the safe haven of Minecraft. Then I found the nether fortress. <gasps> Let's go, let's go. And the blazers I needed to kill. But these were a lot harder to fight because believe it or not, it's really hard to fight something that's flying, moving, and shooting fireballs at you when all you can do is stare at it. You can't hit me, you can't okay, you can hit me, you can hit me. Then I found and killed all of the Endermen, which was easier than I thought it would be. You know, having a staring contest with an Enderman is fine as long as you don't stare at them in the eyes, right? Uh-oh. No, 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 so when I had all of the Eye of Enders I needed, I went back to the overworld. Which, you know, I forgot one minor detail about the overworld, which was kind of important. I forgot we spawned the warden. I, I forgot we, uh, we did that whole thing. I might just have to make a run for it, but my ghost thing doesn't last that long, so I need to get to like a, you know, a safe wall. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Let's just go, let's 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 go. Ooh, a spawner. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh a gold apple, I'll take that. Let's go, 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 let's go. Well aren't I glad that I have this ability to go through walls, huh? Yep, okay. I think it's about time we find the other end. So after running away in a very manly manner, I got to the surface where I could finally look for the stronghold. We were getting so close to our goal that I was starting to get nervous that this wouldn't even work. So after being an idiot and digging a hole in the wrong place because I can't follow the simple instruction of Eye of Enders, I finally found the stronghold. Yes, yes, yes. Where I went through the walls and I found the end portal. It was time. Oh my god, do we have the exact amount? Oh my gosh, this is destiny. Let's kill this end dragon without hitting it once. I'm here, dragon. Now this wasn't the exciting, exhilarating fight I had built it up to be inside my head. Instead, I just told I related insults and threats at the dragon, hoping to emotionally damage it and thus, you know, physically damaging it. That's how it works, right? Dragon, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a stink eye. I'm gonna give you the stink eye. An eye for an eye, an egg for an egg. That that made no sense. Okay, can this dragon like come down? You know, I don't know if it was my insults and threats making the dragon afraid of me, but this dragon was not coming down. I was starting to feel worried that all of this was for nothing. I don't know if this is working. We might be here for a while. <laughs> come on. Oh my gosh, it's flying far away. This is like the least efficient way to kill the ender dragon probably. Come on, come on. It's it's so this has to work. This has to be it. No? Jesus, why is it going so high? I don't think the dragon's ever gone so high before. And then it came down. Oh, is it coming down? Is it coming down? Okay, this is my moment. This is my moment shine. This is my moment shine. This is the moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. This is the this is the diva. This is the moment. Oh my god. Well, that was anticlimactic, huh? I mean, I'm not sure what I expected. There wasn't going to be like stage lights and fireworks and, you know, like a big crowd cheering. But, I mean, I expected the explosion. Or even the XP. Where's the XP? What? But I didn't let that get me down. I was in shock that this was even possible. We actually killed the Ender Dragon without hitting it. Oh my god. Do I just not get the XP? I mean, I don't really care, but at, at the same time, like, oh my god. I just proved that you could kill the Ender Dragon without hitting it in Minecraft. I mean, you need the Origins mod and to be the Enigma. But that's besides the point. I just killed the Ender Dragon without hitting it. I just won the staring contest. That's incredible. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Probably not, I just did that.